Hey guys, Dr. Josh Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. On this video, I'm gonna share with you all of the benefits of rosemary essential oil and how to use it. And I think it would blow your mind with what you're gonna learn about all of the benefits of rosemary oil. And I believe it's one of the most underutilized out there for supporting energy, adrenal health, mood, detoxification, fighting cancer, and a whole lot more as I'll share with you in this video. So for starters, Rosemary oil is the extracted component used through steam distillation to extract the volatile oils from the rosemary plant. Okay, so it's concentrating some of the therapeutic oils from rosemary, okay, through steam distillation. And what we get from rosemary oil are three main compounds, camphor oil, pinene, such as alpha and beta pinene, and cineol. And these compounds together really are what giving, or uh, really what give rosemary essential oil all of its incredible benefits. And let's jump here into step number one, or the number one benefit of rosemary oil. It's for naturally thickening your hair and supporting natural hair growth. Now listen to this. If you know anybody who has thinning hair or is losing hair, it typically is caused by something in the body called DHT, or at least losing hair is caused by dihydroxytestosterone. So your body starts producing too much DHT. Well, the way to combat that is through taking certain herbal compounds that lower your body's DHT response. One of the number one herbs that does that is rosemary, or specifically rosemary essential oil helps combat DHT. So it actually can stop losing your hair in its tracks. The other great benefit is because of how it supports the thyroid, the adrenals, and other organs in your body, it helps naturally thicken your hair. If you're getting thinning hair, that's typically a result of emotional stress. It could be nutritional deficiencies. It can be also stemmed from the health of your adrenals and your thyroid. Rosemary helps with those things specifically. So again, here's what I'd recommend you do. If you have thinning hair or loss of hair growth, you can take rosemary essential oil in a capsule form, a drop two to three times daily, or get it in a supplement. The other thing you can do though is make your own at home hair thickening serum. What you're gonna do is do several drops of rosemary oil just on your scalp, about five to 10 drops, and just massage it into your scalp. Leave it there for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then you can shower off any time at night uh, that, that you'd want to, or you, you can wear it throughout the day. But again, you wanna massage that rosemary into your scalp. Do that one time every single day. You can mix it with a little bit of a carrier oil, like an olive oil. But again, rosemary oil is best. The next best after rosemary is gonna be cedarwood and sage. All of those oils together help naturally thicken the hair. And I would recommend making your own at-home shampoo with aloe vera gel and rosemary oil, just those two things, using that as your natural shampoo, the best natural hair thickener out there. So rosemary, the number one essential oil for naturally thickening your hair. The other great thing about rosemary oil, it is again the number one essential oil for supporting brain health and memory and focus. Now I had a professor come to me a few years ago, he said, hey Dr. Axe, I wanna let you know I have a secret thing I do with my students to help them get better tests uh, better grades on their exams. I said, well, what do you do? He said, I do a combination of rosemary oil, vetiver, and cedarwood, and I diffuse that in my classroom. But we know using rosemary oil is great for memory. The way I'd recommend you use it is do about three drops of rosemary oil, rub it on the temples, the scalp, and the back of the neck. But really right there on the temples is a great place to rub on rosemary oil directly on the skin. You could also mix it with a little bit of olive or coconut oil and sort of rub it on your neck, head, and, and forehead, a uh, temple area. But again, it is great for memory use that once to twice daily. It's also great for children with ADHD. If you have a child with ADHD, I do a blend of lavender, rosemary, cedarwood, and vetiver. Rub it on their skin and body before they go into the classroom that morning. It's great for ADHD and for supporting focus there. The other thing, and by the way, it's also been shown to be great for Alzheimer's and dementia any type of memory support. If you have brain fog, it's also fantastic. So rosemary oil, great oil for that as well. The other thing a lot of people don't realize about rosemary oil, it is incredibly beneficial 
for reducing inflammation and pain. Now, part of that is due to the alpha pinene that's found in rosemary oil. The other compounds, they're all anti-inflammatory. The COM4 and Cineol are all anti-inflammatory. So if you struggle with arthritis, so you've got pain in your joints or muscle pain, any sort of joint or muscle pain, you can do a mixture of rosemary oil with a little bit of coconut oil, rub it directly on the skin. And I like doing a blend of a warming and cooling oil, so you could also add in wintergreen or peppermint oil. So peppermint oil helps cool the area, rosemary helps reduce inflammation, and then ginger oil helps warm the area. So you can make your own at-home muscle rub, mixing those with coconut oil to reduce inflammation if you've got a painful joint or muscle there as well. A few other great benefits, and these last two are absolutely huge. Rosemary essential oil has been shown to support liver and gallbladder detoxification. In Chinese medicine, it's called tonifying or strengthening an organ. So if you're a person who knows you've been exposed to toxins and you need to naturally cleanse your body, using rosemary oil can be fantastic. What I recommend is simply diffusing rosemary oil and smelling it, rubbing it on your neck or rubbing it on your neck and right over the liver gallbladder area. You're gonna go down to your bottom rib here on the right hand side and you're gonna do about three to five drops of rosemary oil and just rub it directly. You're gonna massage right below the ribs on that area for about 30 seconds, massage that oil in. It's a great way to naturally support those organs there and detoxification. In fact, one of the things I love doing for the liver is doing a mixture of lemon oil, turmeric essential oil and rosemary oil. All of those oils are great for liver and gallbladder detoxification. And last but not least, did you know that rosemary essential oil is one of the top two essential oils for supporting the adrenal glands? If you suffer with adrenal fatigue, chronic fatigue, low energy levels of any type or high cortisol levels, Medical studies have proven rosemary essential oil can support the adrenal glands and help balance out cortisol levels. We know cortisol levels, if it gets too high, it's known as the aging hormone. So by using rosemary oil daily, you can actually age more slowly and naturally support the body. Also, if you've got adrenal fatigue, I would use rosemary oil. I would do several drops on the low of your back, right around where your kidneys are, which is where your adrenal glands lie, as well as on the front of your neck, and then get a diffuser and diffuse rosemary oil as well. It is absolutely fantastic for supporting the adrenal glands, balancing out cortisol levels, and naturally boosting your energy levels. In fact, to boost energy, I love doing a blend of peppermint oil with rosemary oil. Simply smelling those two together, rubbing those two together, diffusing those two together is great for the body. And one thing I forgot to, for, to mention, rosemary oil is great for your heart health. Because of its ability to reduce inflammation, in the body can help naturally balance out cholesterol levels and even be effective at fighting diabetes. And so rosemary oil, it's probably one of the less talked about essential oils. I think lavender and frankincense get more press, but rosemary oil is just as beneficial of both of those. So I just wanna encourage you, start adding some rosemary essential oil into your home remedies every single day. You can use it topically, you can diffuse it, and if used in small amounts with working with the physician, you can also use it internally if it's, and when you're buying rosemary essential oil, I'd recommend look for certified organic, look for one that has a supplement panel, a panel on the back so it's been, it can be used as a supplement. But again, make sure you're buying a high quality essential oil when using it. But again, essential oils can be so beneficial to transform your health. They're natural plant-based compounds. And hey, if you wanna learn more about rosemary essential oil, just Go to Google right now and search Dr. Axe Rosemary Oil. I have a whole article there getting more in depth on rosemary oil. And also make sure you subscribe here. I've got a lot of new videos coming out here in the future on more essential oils, herbs, and natural remedies that can help you heal your body fast. Hey guys, this has been me, Dr. Josh Axe, talking about the many benefits of rosemary essential oil.